Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room Tales for Touch. My name is Granny Jean, and I hope we'll all have a good time today and help me sing, huh? And the caregivers, but most important that you're there too, to support the program and uh, sing along with us and uh, help your child follow the, the story and to participate. That's the important part. So here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Absolutely. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I see, I see some ground here, but I still see some snow. Yeah, and there's enough snow in my backyard today to make a snowman. Of course, you'll be seeing this in a few days. So maybe it'll be melted by then, I don't know. But help me build a snowman, okay? Well, he needs a lot of things there. He just doesn't, he doesn't need to snow. He doesn't look like much like, like a snowman yet, does he? Okay, so what does he need? So here, sing along with me. Oh, the snowman needs a hat, needs a hat. Come on. Oh, the snowman needs a hat, needs a hat. Oh, the snowman needs a hat. Well, what do you think of that? Well, the snowman has a hat, has a hat. Well, the snowman needs a nose, needs a nose. Well, the snowman needs a nose, needs a nose. Well, the sn oh, well, the snowman needs a nose. A carrot, I suppose. And Mr. Snowman has a nose, has a nose. Mr. Snowman needs a smile, needs a smile. Mr. Snowman needs a smile, needs a smile. Mr. Snowman needs a smile. It might take a while. Mr. Snowman needs, has a smile, has a smile. Well, Mr. Snowman <clears throat> needs some eyes, needs some eyes. <clears throat> Mr. Snowman needs some eyes, needs some eyes. Mr. Snowman needs some eyes. What a surprise. There they are. <clears throat> Mr. Snowman needs some eyes and some eyes. Mr. Snowman needs a scarf, needs a scarf. Mr. Snowman needs a scarf, needs a scarf. Mr. Snowman needs some scarf. And he also needs some buttons. Mr. Snowman has a scarf and some buttons. Mr. Snowman needs some arms and some arms. Mr. Snowman needs some arms, needs some arms. Mr. Snowman needs some arms. Well, that does add some charm. Mr. Snowman has some arms, has some arms. Oh, Mr. Snowman needs some mittens and some mittens. Mr. Snowman needs some mittens and needs some mittens. Mr. Snowman has some mittens. They were knitted by some kittens. Mr. Snowman has some mittens, has some mittens. Hey, now he looks like a snowman, right? Well, he probably will melt away. Ooh. As it gets hotter out and the sun comes out, and that's what happens. Snow is what? Turns to water. <clears throat> let's take it all away. Yeah, let's take it all away. And I'll put up a little girl. She's going to be standing on her head. What do you think of that? That's pretty silly, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, there she is. Silly Sally. Well, anyway, we have, <clears throat> we have a, a French song. Granny Jean talks in English. That's my language. But maybe you know someone who talks in Spanish. Well, this song is from France. So it's a different type of language, different words. But first we'll sing it in English, okay? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, dang, dong, ding, dang, dong. Now, <coughs> if your name is John in English, it's Jacques in France. Yes, it is. Frere Jacques, 
que frère et Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Sonnez la matine, sonnez la matine, din tan ton din tan ton Can you sing that with me? Come on, love. Let's sing it in English. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, Brother John? Brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding dang dong, ding dang dong. Now we'll sing it in French, the same song. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, sonnez la matine, sonnez la matine, ding dang dong, ding dang dong. <laughs> different languages all over the world. Yeah. <coughs> well, before we start our book, Wizzy Wizard has a tip for our, our mommies and our caregivers and our daddies. It's about words. Yeah, words that you just heard were French words, right? <coughs> well, they're big words too that are English words that we haven't learned yet. Children first learn the meanings of words of those things they can see, like cup or mommy. When they are preschoolers, they begin to understand the meaning of things that are abstract or not physically visible, like courage or responsibility. However, we can still use these abstract words when they are younger. They will not understand all the words we use, but exposure to the words is a first step as children learn language and the meaning of words. Okay. <clears throat> My first book today is Silly Sally by Audrey Wood. I thought we needed a silly story today. And look at her. Isn't she silly? <clears throat> silly Sally went to town. Walking backwards, upside down. Now, where's the town? All the way over there. And she's facing this way. So she's going backwards, right? And she's upside down. Now, who would she meet first? On her way, she met a pig, a silly pig. They danced a jig. And there's the pig. Here's the pig. Put him down there like that. Silly Sally went to that town, uh, dancing backwards, upside down. And look, that pig is doing the same thing. Let's see who she's going to meet next. On the way, she met a dog, a silly dog. They played leapfrog. How do you play leapfrog? Broop, broop. <clears throat> Silly Sally went to town, leaping backwards, upside down. There they all are leaping. Now they're not quite at town yet, but it looks like they're going to come and, and meet somebody else there in the brook there. What do you think? Silly Sally. <clears throat> Uh, see, on the way, she met a loon, a silly loon. They sang a tune. Ah, don't tell me my loon. There we go. That's a real loon's call. Yeah, that's just a toy, but he makes the real sound of a loon. Yeah. On the way, we met a loon, a silly loon. They sang a tune. <clears throat> silly Sally went to town, singing backwards, upside down. <clears throat> On the way, she met a sheep, a silly sheep. They fell asleep. Oh, my goodness. Imagine sleeping upside down. Now, how did Sally get to town? Sleeping backwards, upside down. Well, look at that. She's not gonna be going there anywhere, is she? Ha, along came Nettie Buttercup. 
walking forward, right side up. Look at that. <clears throat> he tickled the pig who danced the jig. He tickled the dog who played leapfrog. He tickled the loon who sang a tune. He tickled the sheep who fell asleep. He tickled Sally who woke right up. She tickled Nettie Buttercup. <laughs> and that's how Sally got to town. And now look, they're all upside down, even Nettie Buttercup. Walking backwards, upside down. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks like everybody's gonna try it too. Look at that. Even the cat. <laughs> That's a silly book. I like that. That's a fun one. <clears throat> well, here, here's a sheep, but it's a baby sheep. So a baby sheep is called a lamb. Right? Right. This is a little lambkin, right? Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. He followed her to school one day, school one day, school one day. He followed her to school one day, which was against the rule. And all the children laughed and played, laughed and played, laughed and played. All the children laughed and played to see a lamb at school. And what does the lamb say? Ba, ba, ba. Yeah. He's very sweet. He certainly is. Well, let's see. Sally, we'll take you down now and we'll see what's up here at the sky. Do you remember from last week what's up there, huh? Let's see if I can get out of this chair here. Ah. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's up here. Ah, I see great big letters and not the whole alphabet just a few the beginning and the end the beginning and the end of the alphabet Whoop. there and here's my tumble down z there we are you see them they look like letters don't they hmm? so we've got a blue b for blue blue ball we've got a kitten and a cat how's that okay Big A, little A, bouncing B. The cat's in the cupboard and can't see me. X and Y and tumble down Z. The kitten's in the parlor waiting for tea. <laughs> he likes to just sit there and wait for some crumbs of those cookies to drop, you know? That's right. Big A, little A, bouncing B. Boop, 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 boop. The cat's in the cupboard and can't see me. X and Y and tumble down Z. And there's that Z. Let's see, there we go. The kitten's in the parlor waiting for tea. Oh, I'm sorry. They didn't. Big A, little A, bouncing B. The cat's in the cupboard and can't see me. X and Y and tumble down Z. The kitten's in the parlor waiting for tea. Yeah, tea and, and cookies, I'm sure. <clears throat> okay. Okie dokie dokie doke. Well, how do you play? Sometimes when you're playing by yourself, you can imagine all sorts of things. Well, here's a little creature. He's called a wombat. And he lives way on the other side of the world in Australia. 
Sometimes I like to curl up in a ball. Can you pretend you're, you're a ball? Huh? Just like that blue ball? Let's see, and this is by Vicki Churchill. Sometimes I like to curl up in a ball. There he is, all curled up in a little ball. <clears throat> Sometimes I like to curl up in a ball so no one can see me because I'm so small. Look at that, he's holding his feet up too. <laughs> Sometimes I like to jump high as I can to see how much noise I can make when I land. Boom. <laughs> Scare old grandma, huh? <clears throat> Sometimes I like to scream ever so loud. Not that I'm cross. I just like how it sounds. Yay! Look at him scaring all the little bugs away. <laughs> Sometimes I like to just walk round and round. I pigeon step, pigeon step till I fall down. Look at that. Ever turn around in circles, get dizzy, get dizzy and fall down? Sometimes <clears throat> I like to stand still as a tree and watch everyone rush around me. Look at that, rush about me rather. <clears throat> Sometimes I like to poke out my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> or make a funny face. Now that can be fun. <laughs> you make funny faces. Granny Jean does all the time, right? Huh. Sometimes I like to get in a real mess <laughs> with mud on my feet and my hands and my chest. Oh dear. I used to play in the mud. I remember that making mud cakes. Sometimes I like to run ever so fast. I sometimes come first, but I sometimes come last. Can't be first all the time, no. Someone else has to have a turn, right? But when the day ends and the sun starts to fall, then I do what I do best of all. I find somewhere soft, somewhere cozy and small. Oh, who, who is he running to? I think so. His mommy. And that's where I like to curl up in a ball. And there he is with his mommy. Look at that in his little den. A little wombat. Wombat. <clears throat> well, let everyone clap hands like me. Let everyone clap hands like me. Come on and join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Let everyone blink their eyes. Blink, blink. Let everyone blink their eyes. Blink, blink. Come on and join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Let everyone laugh like me. Ho, ho, ho. Let everyone laugh like me. Ho, 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 ho. Come on and join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Let everyone wiggle their shoulders. Wiggle, wiggle. Let everyone wiggle their shoulders. Wiggle, wiggle. Come on and join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Let everyone tap their heads. Boop, boop. Let everyone tap their heads. Boop, boop. Come on and join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Let everyone find their neck. Where's your neck? I've got one here somewhere. Let everyone find their neck. My gracious. Come on and join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Let everyone find their elbow. There's mine, that pointy thing there. Let everyone find their elbow. Boop, boop. Come on and join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Let everyone slap their laps. 
Let everyone slap their laps. Come on and join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Yeah, good job. Good job. Well, when I was a little girl, we could make popcorn two different ways. <clears throat> One way, we would get a big kettle. Oh, oh this is not helpful. Oh. Oh. oh, come on. There we go. We get a big kettle and put the corn in and the oil in and it would pop, right? But also we had another way. We had a little wire cage, like a basket with a lid. And there's a poem about popcorn. And it's actually in a book of poems called Sing the Song of Popcorn. And here it is. And this is how we used to do it. Oh dear, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Now, there the children are sitting in front of the fireplace. So maybe you like you have a, maybe you have a um, a campfire or um, oh what do you call it a fire pit outside, and this is the way you can do it. You can have a little basket that has a little cover on it, and put the corn in and shake it. So here we go. And we used to do it over the stove, and we would shake that little basket. A popcorn song. Sing a song of popcorn when the snowstorms rage. 50 little round men put in a cage. Shake them till they laugh and leap, crowding to the top. Watch them burst their little coats. Pop, pop, pop. And there they are. There they are. Sing the song of popcorn when the snowstorms rage. 50 little round men put in a cage, shake them till they, they laugh and leap, crowding to the top. Watch them burst their little coats, pop, pop, pop. There they are. Heating them up, yeah. Popcorn, popcorn pops when they get really hot, yeah. So that's something that mommy and daddy do, right? Yes, that's right. <clears throat> well, let's see how how smart you are. I know this is hard and most children this age can't do it, but, but grownups can and they can show the children how to do it. Can you hide your hands? Hide your hands. I can't see them. Okay. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, ma'am? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Where is Tall Man? Where is Tall Man? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. This is hard for Auntie Jean, oh boy. Granny Jean is so all arthritic here. Where is ring lady, where is ring later? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, ma'am? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Pinky, where is Pinky? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is everybody? Where is everybody? Here we are, here we are. How are you today, friends? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Oh, that was pretty good. <clears throat> so you know where your thumb is, right? You know your pointer, and now you know your pinky, right? That's right. So let's see. <clears throat> let's pretend that we have a baby up in the tree. Maybe it's a monkey baby. What do you think? Well, can you get your arms way up? Oh, Granny Jean has a hard time doing that. One little baby swinging in the tree. Two little babies splashing in the sea. 
Three little babies crawling on the floor. Four little babies banging on the door. Five little babies playing hide and seek. Keep your eyes closed now till I say peek. Come on, do that with me, would you? One little baby swinging in the tree. Two little babies splashing in the sea. Three little babies crawling on the floor. Four little babies banging on the door. Five little babies playing hide and seek. Keep your eyes closed now till I say peek. <clears throat> well, let's see what we've got here. <clears throat> we have Diddle Diddle Dumpling, my son John, who went to bed <clears throat> and he went to bed. He was so tired, he got into bed without putting on his jammies. Diddle Diddle Dumpling, my son John, went to bed with his trousers on, one shoe off and one shoe on. Diddle Diddle Dumpling, my son John, Diddle Diddle Dumpling, my son John, went to bed with his trousers on. What are trousers? Well, trousers are another word for pants, right? Or jeans, right? Trousers. <clears throat> diddle, come on, you sing with me. Pretend you have a baby. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John went to bed with his trousers on. One shoe off and one shoe on. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John went to bed with his trousers on. Well, that happens when you're a little baby, I think, or a little fellow, right? Sure, you get so tired, you fall right to sleep where you are, right? Well, I think it's time now to say goodbye. So bye-bye to silly Sally and bye-bye to Granny Jean, bye-bye to Frere Jacques, it's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to the silly pig who tans danced a little jig and bye-bye to the loon who sang a little tune, and the dog who played what? Leapfrog, brew. This is how you play leapfrog, and then the pig goes brew, and then the dog goes brew. And bye-bye to the little cat. I'll see you maybe next week. Bye-bye. <clears throat>